Get back to it, and the noise is about to stop because my cousins are leaving. Here is the crowd in the stands, and he, for some reason, colored the crowd green because everyone in the crowd is a mini Hulk, and there's Slushy playing for the Bleaflets. And then we have some sponsors down here. We have Law Corp. We have the Shurikens, and we have Slushy Industries. All right, here is um, Magician Slushy. He's doing magic tricks. And there's a UFO taco stand. It's tacos out of this world. And then over here, we have Slushy Underwater. And over here, he's there's an octopus and a fish. And oh, that's a squid shooting ink. And there's a treasure chest right there. And now this is Slushy. At night, James helped colored all the slushy pictures, and he's running his own taco stand. That's a taco right down there. Then there's the road, and that he just drew in because he th felt like it. <laughs> and it's at night, and I don't know why, but I extra love this one. Oh, God. Time to look at my old Sonic art. Uh, this is when I drew Amy Rose. <laughs> oh, God. Um. Anyways, but uh, we had... We have Amy Rose right here. Drew her out of comics. Right here, slushy in the snow. There's a big, big pine tree. Then he has a little scarf. And he has a little Under Armour sweatshirt on. I put the Under Armour logo. I still don't know how to draw the Under Armour logo. Because I suck. But anyways, moving on. Here's what I, show, I said I would show you. Here is Slushy Industries. I remember working on this with James. We made Slushy Industries because he was a sponsor of the baseball team and Slushy Industries it appears in my a lot of my art. It's just a little reference to this picture. And he has a little he has a little dog suit with a blue tie. He has his briefcase that has Slushy Industries logo on it. And it says Slushy. And then they have Maya. Wait, let me look at this real quick. Oh, yeah, Maya. That was my friend, Maya, that also helped with these. And there's Slushy Industries, and there's all of the windows. I'm going to put this right here. Oh, be prepared for more cringy comics. Bye. This is the Titan Awakens. Yeah, this is like three years ago. And there's supposed to be like the Star Wars kind of narrative, but never really worked. This is about my children. Tony Jr. was very good at sports like football touchdown. Ave, A A Ariana was very smart. And I did 8 times 32 equals 107. 70. But I, d I didn't know math then. Then they're living with their uncle and says, hi. How was school? Okay. Oh. What? So, then after he says, how was school? Okay. I am going for a whack. I'll come with you. Have fun. Have fam is what he said. Have fun, I think is what he was trying to say. And then, Tony Jr., my son, falls. And then, she says, are you... Okay. In two speech bubbles, and he says, Yes. Oh. Swipe. And then there's like ground, and that's our comic frame. And he says, Oops, and he drops it. Then a statue of me comes out, and I fall, and I come to life. And over here is, are you okay, Titan, sir? And then that's my my wife right there. She jumps down perfectly fine. Tony Jr., dad, Ariana, mom. Mr. Eight is the villain. I need to be more creative. And it's fam versus Mr. Eight, the Titan fam hit by an arrow and I drew a line in the arrow for fun for some reason and then 
over here, I drew me. Gotta wait for the camera to focus a little bit. There's me screaming, and then I get hit by a bubble, and then I'm flying back. Superpower time. Then we use power, and Mr. A says, you may have won this time. And then I will be back the end. Da, da, da. So we throw that away. We are almost to the end. Two more pictures. This is slushy. Well, not slushy. The next picture is slushy, so I had in my mind the cloud. This is um, so I go me, I have a minion and a skateboard, and then I have everyone else. My friend Ellie helped me draw this. It's um, probably one of the most accomplished drawings I've got. I don't even remember those names. There's like Agnes, I forgot who Agnes is. I forgot who's who, but we got a minion and a banana skateboard. And she, we drew this in a pen. She had cracked sidewalk. Me and her did a good job on this, and I just overall really like this picture. And we were gonna upload this, but it ended up like, I ended up editing it and then deleting it to make space, and so it never just worked out. And so fluffy is what she's saying. Ellie wrote that, and I think that's the end of that picture. And it's time for the last picture. This is Slushy from the Three Color Challenge. I did a video on that. It's on my channel and actually uploaded. It has Slushy, and it has little things besides the little orbs on his door. Then he has screen window door. Then he has the three colors that I use. I use green, purple, and blue. And then he has a smiling computer because I just don't know. But you can go watch that video. And the last thing I need to show you is my notebooks. Yay! When I was so obsessed with Star Wars, so there's going to be a lot of Star Wars stuff in here. So, let's see. I think this is Yoda on Dagobah. Dagobah. I forgot how to say it. And I drew his head, his wrinkly head. And I have a little hut over there. Alright, this was for a website that I found that I can turn drawings into plushies for like 80 bucks. I decided not to do it because at that time it was too cheap. It says lead to air kink and I drew a Underwater Stormtrooper. Then up there, I drew Captain Rex. Cool stuff. Again, I've got nice size noodles. One of the dancers in Java's hut. This is the final battle. I'm gonna zoom in on those lightsabers. Just look at that exquisite detail on Darth Vader. I mean, like, come on. It doesn't get much better than this. And then Palpatine over here. Lightning. Just top notch. And then that is the end of that. This is like literal, like had to be Star Wars because it's a Star Wars notebook. Alright, so this is Kylo Ren's lightsaber. This is Endor. I drew all of these with a big pack of pens that I bought in here. Which is the capital of South Dakota. That's where my grandpa lives. And this is Tatooine. I got the twin suns up there and I got those light I got solar panels and then there's a little igloo sand igloo that Luke lives in and then there's the hover car that he gets to get around and see the stone troopers and I don't know what I was starting to draw here probably something Star Wars but it's just where it ends which is odd but anyways that is so it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and you had as much fun as I did making fun of me. <laughs> well, anyways, um, I'm going to upload this today and it is two weeks of school left. This is the next week will be the last week of school and we get out on like Thursday, my school does, because we only go for 75 days. And so I am going to be doing a art contest and um, it's going to be an art contest for Slushy. And I'm going to be also doing a Q&A. So put all of the comments in the description. 
And by the time I upload this video, I'm gonna see if I can find that website that I found the make the plushies over my other Star Wars notebook. And so I could put a link in the description if I find the website. I probably won't, so don't get your hopes up. And the drawing competition, it's pretty simple. You just draw fan art of slushy. It'll be a, in the first place. They get a letter from me. Not a lot saying, but then that you get your own. You get a little box full of um. You get a little box full of a beanie boo a beanie boo news set, and you'll have a little backdrop and a little desk. And I'm not donating a beanie boo sadly, because that would just be. Well, it's going to be a surprise when you get it, but you're going to have cool stuff in there. There might be a Beanie Boo, there's going to be a desk and a backdrop, and other cool stuff like fake microphones and stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this as much as I did, and I hope you guys all have an amazing day, and goodbye!